That's hell for me. Hell is a bunch of yard tool implements in the middle of a Chuck E. Cheese. Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen and I'm the Restless Thrifter. Another video on my new channel. I'm building again, starting from scratch. If you followed me before, I was on another channel. Technical issues with YouTube and the impossibility of getting any help unless you are monetized. And if you're not sure what that means, it just basically means you have enough followers, subscribers. It's not a cult. <laughs> um, that uh, YouTube will actually have customer support without a certain number of subscribers and everything, you just can't get in touch with them at all. There's a very extensive um, how-to and troubleshooting site. Well, it's not even really troubleshooting, but when you run into a problem, like a real problem that needs a real person, you cannot get help from one. Um, I couldn't even get help from the forum because they've shut that down. So you can't add comments and things. So it was very unhelpful. I just decided to start over. Um, the technical issues I was running into had something to do with me turning my uh, hiding my channel and then unhiding it earlier in the year when I was sick for a couple of months. So I do not recommend doing that if you want your channel to actually be seen by people. I want to share my wealth of knowledge. Not really. I'm, I'm learning just like everybody else. Um, but I have learned a lot in my almost three years of reselling on eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. And today I'm going to share with you some of the 30 sales that I had for that week of November 26th through December 2nd. It was a pretty good week overall. Um, a number of sales at least, but there were a lot of lower dollar ones. So I'm only going to go over the really good ones with you. Top five based on profit I made as well as anything that sold within 30 days or less. And that's a lot. That's uh, 10 items. Pretty good. And then a couple of things that I wouldn't pick up again. So first in the top five sales is a Judy Blue size 5 slash 27 jeans, night out, frayed hem, mid rise, medium wash, skinny. Pair of skinny jeans. <laughs> skinny weans. Hey, pair of skinny jeans and one of my favorite brands to sell, Judy Blue. It does sell quickly. Sold in 30 days, 36 days on Poshmark. I'd gotten this at a Goodwill. Sold for $30. Cost of goods was $3.50 and my profit was $20.50. The next is something that's actually on its way back to me for fit. It's a pair of pants, a crease punto, size 16, Franca pants, slim leg, ankle length, geo umbrella dot print. Really cute pants, sold in nine days on eBay, but she's returning them. She said they were too big in the hips, I think. Um, they sold through an offer of $39.50 plus the cost of shipping. Guys, these pants retail for like $595, it's crazy. And I had paid $3.78 at a Salvation Army near me. And my profit was $29.59, but not really because she's returning them. But I don't lose any money. I'll return the money that she paid and uh, minus the cost of shipping. Next is a vintage MCM Hazel Atlas cocktail shaker, 12 drink recipes, glass barware art deco. I've got a glare on my screen and it's... Uh, this sold in 171 days on Poshmark of all places. It is a personal item. I actually learned that this was a thing um, when I was watching the homeschooling picker, or maybe it was Matt's channel, one of them, and they picked up one of these cocktail shakers. And I was like, hey, I've got that. I have that exact same one. And um, we've never used it. And I don't know where we got it. I don't know if it was Steven's before we met. I don't know if it was mine before we met. I don't know if we picked it up together <laughs> at a thrift store or, or a garage sale. Any of those are possible. We liked it, but we like money more. So we sold it for $38. I put zero as my cost of goods since it's a personal item and my profit was $30.40. 
Now I've since learned that Hazel Atlas is something to look out for. So if you see barware or dishes or anything with Hazel Atlas on it, you might want to look up that particular item in style and see if it sells on eBay or Poshmark for that matter, because that's where this one sold. Next is oh, the droning. That's hell for me. Hell is a bunch of yard tool implements in the middle of a Chuck E. Cheese. Next in the top five is a Rothy's size eight, the point flat, light pink flats, pointy toe shoes washable. Sold in 46 days on eBay for $50 plus shipping through an offer. I had paid $9.74 and my profit was $34.91. I've only found Rothy's in the wild once and I found two pair that day and they've both sold. Oh my God, the leaf blower. It's gonna drive me insane. I really wanna go take it and shove it somewhere. It can't possibly, I know there's a lot of leaves out there. We've had a beautiful fall here in Texas, but oh my God. It's not even my yard. Blessed silence. And the best in my top five sales for the week of November 26th through December 2nd. It's back on. So the Lauren Ralph Lauren size eight dress pants, new wool, dark navy, straight leg, mid rise. These took 238 days to sell. Sold on Mercari. Um, I think it was an offer and what do I have here? I have that it sold for $60 and 16 cents. Is that right? No, $50. $50 and I had paid $1.97. That was actually my average cost per item in a Goodwill blue box. That's where I got these. And my profit was $40.87. This was a beautiful pair of pants. I do have a hard time photographing navy and black pants or pants in general. Jeans turn out okay, but pants, I have a problem with my lighting, especially when they're dark blue or black. And so I, I don't like to pick them up simply for that reason. It's not the base, you know, the brand, people buy pants, but when you can't see the details and they just look like a blue or black blob, you know, makes it difficult to stand out. And if I try to get photos with more detail, then it kind of washes them out. Any tips, welcome, please. So that's the top five. I do have, um, one of those was a fast flip. That was the pair of pants that is now on his way back. Hopefully they'll sell a second time quickly. And now I have 10 fast flips, things that sell in less than a month to go over. The first is Atmosphere, the Harbingers board game replacement pieces, six numbskulls, Mattel. <laughs> These sold in 30 days on eBay for $9.96 plus shipping. That is the full price. I didn't find any of these little replacement pieces online. I didn't find any comps. I just separated everything out from this game and listed everything for $9.96 each. I think I have offers on maybe, I'm not sure, but these sold full price, so probably not. And I paid $2 probably for the whole game. I'm, I'm really not sure. The game was missing the VHS tape and it was a really large box, so I decided to part this out. So my profit, I'm saying, is $5.80. Okay, next sale was the Rare Mercari sale. I used to sell a lot more there when I offered free shipping and also when I would take the time to send offers out every day. I haven't been doing that. I should get back to doing it. There's no reason I'm not, not no reason at all. But this was a pair of uh, no, this was a Build-A-Bear Workshop ballerina outfit with dress and shoes, pink tutu tulle sparkle. 
Super cute, 29 days to sell on Mercari for $7.50. I put zero as my cost of goods, probably because I took it off a stuffed animal or something and sold that stuffed animal. And my profit was $5.89. Next is a Native American tunic cross stitch framed art beaded fringe six by eight vintage Southwest. This was just a little framed cross stitch and sold in 26 days on eBay for $12 plus shipping through an offer. And I'd paid a dollar. My profit was $8.08. Next is the other Mercari sale. And this is the set of Cherished Teddies, Adelaide Halloween Bear and Pumpkin Tea Light Priscilla Hillman. These little Cherished Teddies are good. They don't sell for a whole lot. Um, did I say they're good? I meant to say they're cute. <laughs> they're cute, but they don't sell for a whole lot. Um, took 22 days to sell. I sold them really cheap on Mercari for $6. I had paid a dollar for the two and my profit was $3.51. I won't be picking these up again. Not for that type of profit. Mm -mm. Breakable things, having to wrap it and everything. No. Next is a personal item. This was something set in my shelf when we moved from Denver here a couple months ago. I had listed a bunch of things and I just packed those up and considered it part of my inventory. This is a fellow Carter Move Mug Travel Cup 8 ounce insulated stainless steel splash proof. It's basically a little coffee cup, a little travel coffee cup. And this style brand, um, has a following and so they will people will buy them even when they are co-branded with another company this was branded with um, one of the third parties that i worked with when i was doing something other than full-time reselling and it was new we hadn't used it and i was like you know let's just go ahead and sell it because we're never going to use it apparently first of all who only drinks eight ounces of coffee at once that's like a shot glass Anyhow, sold in uh, 16 days on eBay um, through promoted listings and an offer of $10 plus shipping. I put zero as, well, yeah, zero was the cost of goods because it was given to me by this um, other person. Anyway, my profit was $5.26. So I'd keep an eye out for those. I would sell them again. It was a lower profit item, but if I could pick these up for like a buck, especially the larger ones new. I'd sell them, very easy to list. Next is something I picked up at a garage sale, Paracone MD High Potency Evening Repair Serum, two ounce bottle, new sealed night cream. Sold in 14 days on eBay for um, full price, but it was a promoted listing, so my fees were a little bit higher. Sold for $19.96 plus shipping. I paid a dollar at that garage sale and my profit was nine, uh, 13 95. Next, another personal item. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how junk around our house that we think is like just junk uh, can sell? Like who would have thought that this little package, tiny little package of tiny little pins would be something someone would buy? Alpha shelf pins, white package of 10 new for old shelves, retired, hard to find. Didn't see anybody else having these listed or anybody else having these sold in like the last three years. So yeah, I would say they're hard to find. And if you're using the alpha shelves and you want these little pins, the shelf pins now are um, these metal things and they don't work with all the shelves. I found this out the hard way and had to buy new shelves, but I still had this little package of pins that I didn't even know I had. When I was going through stuff and packing, I listed them, sold in 14 days on eBay, through promoted listings, but it was a full price um, sale of $9.96 plus shipping, $0 as my cost of goods, and I made $6.61. Hmm. Next to last item in the fast flips is a cross tour dash cam CR300 new wide angle car recorder 1080p resolution three inch screen sold in two weeks on ebay for full price asking $25.96 plus shipping did sell through promoted listings and i made oh i paid 250 for it at a garage sale 
and I made $15.53. When I mentioned that something sold through promoted listings, that's an eBay thing. You can promote your items. They show up at the top of the list when people are doing a search result or searching for something or going to a category page and browsing. Your item will show up at the top with all the other promoted items and um, it costs you more money and fees. But I do promote pretty much everything after it's been listed for a week. My last in the fast flips, this sold in two days on eBay. It's a Wonder Bible, King James version, the talking audiobook player, new sealed as seen on TV gift. And this sold for full price for $14.96 plus shipping, not promoted because I hadn't listed it for a week yet. So I hadn't added it to my promoted listings. I paid $2 at a garage sale and my profit was $9.02. Okay, two more things I want to go over in this video. Um, two things that I wouldn't pick up again, or I wouldn't pick up for a certain reason. Um, this one is a new era McLaren Daniel R Ricardo. There's an extra I in there, so it's probably pronounced different. Uh, number three, yellow baseball cap hat, 940 Formula One F1. Formula One driver, I guess. This took 87 days to sell on eBay. The reason I'm considering this a lesson learned is because it only sold for $10 plus shipping and we had paid $6.52. Yikes. So we didn't make any money. Negative 17 cents. And then my next lesson learned is this soft surrounding size medium top navy inside out fleece three quarter sleeve v-neck pullover. Such a comfy cozy sweater, but it took almost two years to sell on eBay did sell through promoted listings and an offer of $10. I was fine, like, you know, just fine. Take it. Nobody wants it. And I paid $8. So I also lost money on this item. I lost $2.83. Did I lose money on anything else that week? No, just those two items. Soft Surroundings is a great brand. People will pick it up for its more unique items, things that are embroidered or beaded or, um, a little more boho or flowy, um, but just a plain fleece. I mean, it wasn't even that plain. It was kind of cute, but fleeces are not what people are looking for at Soft Surroundings. Maybe they're looking for a North Face fleece or a Patagonia fleece, but not a Soft Surroundings fleece. So that's my lesson learned there. Like I said, it was an overall pretty good week, just a, a bunch of little lower dollar sales. Next week, I'm going to be sharing with you another really big sale. So please stay tuned for that. Subscribe so that you get notified when that video is posted. You're going to want to see it. It's really, really cool. And um, one of my biggest sales ever. And through an auction, mind you. So please give me a thumbs up. This is a new channel. I need all the eyeballs I can get so that I can get customer service support. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all, and just keep listing. The droning on and on and on. Oh, my God, it drives me insane.